Good morning. It's Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Fading to Light, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, he has identified you as his own, guaranteeing that you'll be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. The whole idea of fading to dark leaves me empty, as it should. Fading to dark is descriptive of what happens in a movie or stage play when a scene is ending. Fading is light going out of the theater. You're left on your own with your thoughts. My thoughts this morning are on fading to light, where the cloudiness on your perspective clears and you're now able to see more vividly, make more reasoned decisions. And the only thing better than being able to see clearly is to be part of the kind of fading to light so others can also see more clearly. The picture I've chosen to accompany today's devotion is an owl in his tree habitat. The owl is designed to fade into that background so predators who want owl for dinner, as well as prey the owl would like to be dinner, can't see him. His fading is a weapon designed to deceive and give him enough advantage to keep his belly full. A follower of Jesus Christ is also designed to fade into the light, but for a different purpose altogether. The invisibility achieves visibility. As a believer grows in his or her likeness of Christ, the believer is less of a standout and Christ is more the image the world can see. When I become less, Christ in me becomes everything. There is a stark, shudder-causing difference between darkness and light, as evidenced by Jesus' use of this metaphor for those who prefer evil or good. The Apostle Paul picked this up and said it plainly as to which side we're called. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, You are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to darkness and night. There's a bit of confusion about this metaphor if we don't remind ourselves often about the true nature of darkness, representing evil, and the true nature of light, representing godliness. These two, in character, are well-known enemies, but they don't show up on the battlefield and fight to the death. In their nature, they are representations of the absence of each other. They don't coexist as enemies, nor especially as friends. Their nature is to be mutually exclusive. The presence of one announces the absence of the other. This is seen in the way Paul describes how to live as children of light. He tells us to get rid of or banish the behavior of darkness, bitterness, anger, rage, harsh words, etc. And when that happens, in place of such evil, you'll find the behavior of light or the presence of light, tender-hearted kindness, forgiving of one another. Darkness fades to light. More accurately, it fades to Jesus, the light of the world. This is what John the Baptist meant when he said, He must become greater and greater, and I must become less and less. Let's pray together. Father, we cannot see clearly sometimes for all the darkness in this world. Yet still, you call us to be children of light and walk in your light. Let your light so shine in us that we fade into the light. For you today, at times when you're wondering why you have difficulty concentrating on God's light and wondering where the light went, it'll be beneficial to fast and pray on what darkness to which you've become attached. Remember, the presence of darkness announces the absence of light. And it's also true the other way around. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. 
have a blessed day.